minus 15, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Dragon. And lift off. NASA's SpaceX 32nd Commercial Resupply Services mission is on its way to the International Space Station, carrying over three tons of science and supplies to Expedition 73 as it begins its pitch downrange. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. During ascent, we tilt or gimbal the engines, guiding the rocket into what we call a gravity turn. During this turn, the vehicle is flying both up Falcon and power and telemetry nominal. Horizontally away from the launch pad. Everything is looking good. In just a few moments here, you'll hear the call out for Max Falcon Q. Falcon is supersonic. Falcon is now faster than the speed of sound. And Max Q is the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see in ascent. Max Q. There is that call out for Max Q. And coming up shortly, we will have a few events in quick succession, starting with MECO or main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation. MVAC chill. Second engine start one and the boost back burn. You heard that call out for MVAC chill as it prepares for second engine startup. Now, main engine cutoff, or MECO, is the point in flight where we shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Shortly after that, stage one and two will separate from each other with the first stage booster beginning its trip back to Earth. Second engine start one, or SES-1, is when we ignite that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. The boost back burn will then start up on the first stage, which is one of the three burns required for the vehicle to make its way back to today's landing zone. This burn assists the vehicle to reorient itself back towards land. And in just under 10 seconds here, we should have main engine cutoff, and you'll see those nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back start up. Wow, beautiful views from the first stage and second stage camera. You can see the first stage leaving in that view. And as you saw and heard, those events just happened. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine startup one, and the first stage boost back burn. You can see beautiful views of that first stage boost back burn right now. That boost back burn will, ha will ha continue for about 30 more seconds. Um, again, this is the burn where the engines will bring the trajectory back towards our landing site at Cape Canaveral, back to landing zone one, which is just a short hop from where we lifted off just a few minutes ago. And we have just under 10 seconds of that boost back burn of the first stage. Stage one boost back shut down. There is the shutdown of that first stage boost back burn. You can see the second stage is still in the middle of its burn. And in about three minutes, there will be two additional burns on our first stage to prepare for its landing at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. We are just under T plus four minutes both into vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. Into today's mission, you just heard the call out that both first and second stage are on a nominal trajectory. CRS-32 is SpaceX's 45th launch this year. We are coming up on entry burn of the first stage and then second engine cutoff of the second stage. Around the T plus six and a half minute mark, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. For that entry burn, we relight three of the nine M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines. And this burn will slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down to reduce reentry forces, which help us to recover and reuse the first stage. You can follow along on the screen 
to the bottom left and right of your screen, you can see the stage one telemetry on the bottom left and the stage two telemetry on the bottom right. And again, Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. Both first and second stages continue to be on a good trajectory. And on your screen is the second stage MVAC engine glowing in the middle of its burn, carrying our CR-32 mission uh, with the Dragon and Trunk on top of the second stage right now. We are under a minute to the start of that first stage entry burn. Again, this will be a three engine burn of our first stage as it slows its, itself down, making its way back to landing zone one. And that burn will be a three engine burn with the center E9 engine along with two engines on the side. Meanwhile, second stage continues to be looking good with that single Merlin vacuum engine carrying the Dragon capsule. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory towards the international towards the orbit. Just a few seconds away from the start of that first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. There is that start of the first stage entry burn. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there. Stage one FTS has saved. There is the shutdown of the entry burn and the call out that the flight termination system has saved. Now this first stage that's supporting today's mission has just performed its entry burn for the third time. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket, and this is important because reusability allows SpaceX Both vehicles following a nominal trajectory. to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of access to space. Now coming up, we'll have the landing burn on the first stage, stage followed one, transonic. quickly by the shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage. You can see the lights of the Florida coast in that view on your left. Stage one landing burn. There is the start of our stage one landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon 9 to make that precision Land landing. Deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. What a beautiful view of that stage one landing. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 434th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Heavy. We are now looking at stage two. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Which is carrying our CR-32 mission. And it is in the middle of its burn with the second engine cut off in just a few moments stage here. Stage two FTS has saved. And you heard the call out that flight termination system is saved, getting ready for shutdown. Nominal park orbit insertion. There we got confirmation. We did have second engine cutoff and we did have confirmation of a good orbit. It looks like we are on track for Dragon separation in just under 30 seconds here. The vehicle is now coasting with Dragon attached and we are just moments away from spacecraft separation. We're seeing a great view from the second stage as it cools down and prepares to separate Dragon so that it may begin its journey to the International Space Station.